Lisa.com and welcome to my channel. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, <laughs> not sure why I'm doing that. Um. <laughs> hey, oi, Marzil, Super Links. <laughs> you guys a little bit about um, blogging I first started out my blog as a style niche trendy type thing blog whatever because I saw everybody else was doing it and it was something that I really wanted to do and it's really what I started out doing um, when I first started my blog um, in like I think 2012 um, five years fast forward um, I'm now into the uh, niche of fitness because fitness has been a big part of my life as well it's been you know it's my literally has been my bread and butter through my collegiate career my high school career um, and it's still a major part of my life even to this day but as I started to get into the realm of fitness I quit style blogging not necessarily quit but I stopped it and for me, it was just kind of difficult trying to juggle, you know, so many niches and trying to do so many things at once. It was just kind of like, ah, you know. <laughs> I think I was too focused on what people were noticing uh, or wanting from the blog or I thought they wanted from the blog versus what I wanted to put out there on the blog. And um, I just wanted to talk about a few reasons why I kind of, you know, quit style blogging um not necessarily quit but not didn't you know didn't focus focus on it as much as i used to in the past um one of those reasons is um it gets expensive <laughs> honestly if you don't have brands that's pitching at you you know every other week or every day telling you hey we want to give you this free product for you to wear on your blog can you do this da, 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 da. It gets expensive because you gotta buy clothes, you gotta style them away, you gotta buy a camera, you gotta make sure you have great photos, you have to make sure you put them on blog um, in a certain amount of time, you have to be consistent. And honestly, I was getting pictures from brands, for like fashion brands. Um, um, some were paid, some were free product, that kind of thing. But when I wasn't, I had to find the means to get the clothes myself and sometimes it just wasn't working out um so i just wanted to quit that i wanted to stop because i was like nah there's no way i can you know um do this because it gets super expensive and i didn't have a brand knocking down my door you know every week saying hey we want you to wear this can you put this on i wasn't up there yet I, i'm still not up there yet but um that was one of the reasons why i kind of quit <laughs> Another reason was, um, you know, it just didn't feel genuine anymore. And the reason why I say this is a lot of, a lot of style bloggers kind of, you know, put on clothes, they go out, they take a few outfits with them, and they go and they take photos in like different locations and stuff like that, and they put it on the gram, they put it on their blog and stuff like that. And I'm not knocking anybody, anybody's hustle, but I used to do that all the time like every weekend first thing in the morning I used to go find a cute little spot somewhere bring all my clothes with me in my car change in my car go and take photos and come back and then go and edit and do a blog or, or do a blog post or three blog posts or four blog posts all dedicated to style 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 right or my own personal style rather and it just kind of felt fake it was like why am I dressing up am I really gonna wear this dress somewhere like for real for real like I wasn't going out I was trying too busy trying to find locations to go and shoot a nice outfit look or whatever and it wasn't genuine to me and I was like man I just want to be able to you know get up get dressed up take a few quick pics or even a, a, a little video or a nice vlog or something while I'm actually doing something in a nice outfit you know um, for me 
self-expression through style is more or less, you know, I wake up one day, I feel some type of way, and I wear the clothes that reflect that, that make me feel confident, that make me feel beautiful, um, that kind of thing. And also, I go outside feeling comfortable, feeling beautiful, socializing with people because a lot of it was me um, doing these things and waiting and, you know, just trying to figure out, oh, when is a, when is a brand going to hit me up? Oh, I need a brand to hit me up, da 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 and stuff like that. So that was one of the other reasons why I quit. Um, another reason why I kind of quit style blogging was because, um, you know, there are just so many style bloggers out there, like so much people. <laughs> um, and it just got a little intimidating. I put a lot of pressure on myself because I started to compare myself and be like, oh, you know, my outfits weren't on point or they weren't as great or, you know, um, I couldn't get as many outfit posts in a week as someone else could. Just because I didn't have I didn't have the means to do it and I just didn't have the means and I didn't have the time to do it you know working a nine to five and trying to manage a blog at the same time was a lot and it still is a lot um, and I just I just started to put so much pressure on myself that I was like you know what maybe I should just take a break from this and you know it just eventually became became something where I just stopped doing it which I I truly truly regret now because i i kind of look back on my blog the past couple of days and i look back at my youtube and i was like looking at the parts of you know the time where i was you know really really happy and passionate about what i was doing you know i love fitness it, it's, it's always been a part of me and it still will be but i can't let this part of me go and that's why i decided to start style blogging again um mainly because I was passionate about it. It kept me consistent. Um, I love doing it and it made, gave me this feeling of fulfillment, like, whoa, like this, you know, I was happy doing it. You could tell in the pictures, I was happy doing it. I was passionate about it. Um, and, you know, um, another thing too, it did, it really kept me consistent because it was something that I loved doing. It didn't matter what time of the night it was, I would get up and I would do it, I would edit, I would post it didn't matter so i just wanted to to share with you all today like just a reason why if you are a blogger and you can relate to this you know comment below let me know what your thoughts are about this i definitely am going to start style blogging again it may not be the way i used to do it i want to move into a more authentic way of doing things where i'm actually going out and you know wearing an outfit and you know actually doing things on the spot you know real life situation or real life style that kind of thing I also want to start style blocking again so a little bit of it will be staged a little bit of it will be more so real and you know um, more authentic or at least my definition of authentic um, um, and yeah if you guys struggle with any of this um, if you're a style blogger or you want to be a blogger or you like style blogs and you you know have the same frustrations that I do about authenticity nowadays you know comment below let me know what you think um, I love to have conversations I'm trying to be more vocal on YouTube and have conversations with y'all because y'all show me so much love and you know you, you subscribe and you like my posts and you watch my posts and I'm really really appreciated appreciated appreciative of that so if you actually like this post or like this vlog give me a thumbs up um, I really appreciate it if you do if you don't that's okay it's all right if you you know think I could work on some things I accept all positive critique um, or any sort of critique or feedback you know that's positive positive. Um, and yeah that's about it again my name is Krista from Bahamanista.com thank you for watching and I will see you guys later Oh, this, uh, speaking of style blogging, <laughs> I actually just posted a new post on my blog. It's called Fetiquette, the all white party. I will list that below. And you guys tell me what you think. You know, subscribe to the blog if you like it. Um, let me know if you guys want to see anything in particular. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. But at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I love and I'm going to try to stay as authentic as possible to myself because. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, see you guys later. Bye.
Is it recording? <laughs>